Main event, Lance Archer and John Moxley in a Texas death match for the IWGP U.S. heavyweight title. What did you think of this match, Lance? Not much, because I don't like this Ooh. style of match. And again, it was a good this style of match, but this is not the style of match I like. It would be like if you really hate hip-hop, it could be a great hip-hop song. I don't like the music. And I don't like the fork stuff. I don't like the color. So it wasn't my cup of tea. But um, And again, I do agree with Dave. I'm concerned they might be going to the well a bit too often with the hardcore blood stuff. But uh, again, the audience liked it. The... Uh, the guy got a big win in his hometown. They got a title change with New Japan, and they've got uh, a really, really tall <laughs> Samoan coming in. Or I guess he would be Tongan. Yeah. I thought this match was fucking great, and these matches are normally not my cup of tea. I don't like forks and barbed wire and everything like that, but like John Moxley knows how to work this kind of match, and Lance Archer was great in this match. And two guys that really know how to do the fighting spirit no-sell spot. It's funny because John Moxley gets the choke slam onto the backs of two chairs that are back to back. Oh, which is like they, they did not give a oh. fucking nutty. Nu- I mean, that was worse. I would rather take the barbed wire, I think, than that fucking bump right there. Oh yeah. So he takes it and like. It's one of those things where it just, for a moment, I'm out of the match because I'm like, I saw the two things, and I'm thinking, eh, you know, I've I've seen this tease a million times, but nobody ever fucking takes it. This guy just had a baby girl. I mean, come on. And then he takes it. And, like, I was so taken aback that I was like, oh, my God. And I, I think I started texting somebody or something. So then I look up, and Moxley's, like, running wild. And I was like, wait a second. This fucking guy just got chokeslam on the back of these two chairs. Now he's running wild. I was actually momentarily like, I'm like, what? Why aren't you selling this? So I rewound it. And uh, it was the fighting spirit spot. He did sell the, the bump on the back of the chairs. And he went down, and he fucking sold it. Because I'll bet that fucking hurt. And Archer's on him, and he's on him, and he's on him. And then Archer turns around to do something, and Moxley sells his back. He jumps out of the corner, and he fucking floors this guy with a lariat. And this place went fucking crazy for that spot. And then he hits the big, his DDT, and then he starts firing up, and the ref goes, one, two, and he gets to, like, three. And all of a sudden, Lance Archer just does a big double bird, and he jumps to his feet in his hometown, and they fucking jump up, and they're going crazy. And I'm like, none of this should work, but it's fucking awesome. And he, and again, it's the guy's hometown. They don't beat the guy. He runs wild. Moxley sets up his own doom, the barbed wire, and then he gets choke slammed over the top through these barbed wire boards. And as a fan, you're like, this guy's dead. He's never getting up. And in fact, he doesn't get up. And Lance Archer wins the IWGPO's title in his hometown in the main event of Dynamite. The place is going nuts. He's got his belt, which, by the way, he got beaten by John Moxley in a Texas death match for, so he got redemption on top of everything else. And then they bring in the giant Hikaleo. And the key is, nobody knows who Hikaleo... I shouldn't say nobody. Many fans there knew who Hikaleo was. But the key is... It doesn't matter if you know who Hikaleo is, because the key here is you know that Lance Archer is a giant dude, and all of a sudden an even bigger dude gets in the ring and stares him down, and the show goes off the air. I thought this was awesome. This was an awesome ending to this show. When did the paradigm shift double arm DDT become the paradigm shift double arm suplex? Well, it's it's actually two moves. The, the paradigm shift is when he does a double arm into the DDT. When he, when he elevates them, that's supposed to be the death rider. And it's actually supposed to be a double underhook brain buster. But I think he doesn't want to kill Lance Archer. And so it comes off more as like he lifts him and then kind of dumps him over. Okay, because I've seen it a couple times now. And JR even called it a double arm suplex. And then I think it was Tony or Excalibur that called it the paradigm shift. So... I was just confused. Well, I think they're confused, too. I think technically the paradigm shift is when you do a DDT, and the Death Rider is the same move, but you elevate them into a brain buster. 
which he once did to Kenny Omega on a glass fucking table because mm. they're crazy. Anyway, I loved it. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.